Before we begin, a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on that later, but for right now, let's dive right in. What is up guys, Fraser Wilson here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be going through a full day of eating to put on some muscle mass. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through meal by meal, step by step. They're gonna be very, very simple, straightforward meals that are gonna taste absolutely phenomenal and put you in a good spot to build a ton of muscle mass. So if you're a student, if you're someone who's short on time, if you're someone who likes to eat good and healthy at the same time, then this video is for you. So this is gonna be the best four day of eating you've probably ever seen in your entire life. So without further ado guys, we have on the agenda breakfast, probably one of the best meals ever in my personal opinion. So we're gonna have a sweet, a savory component to this meal. Let's jump right into it. So before we start anything guys, put the pan on the stove and bring it to a medium heat. What we're doing here first and foremost guys is eggs. So we're gonna have two eggs, and then some egg whites. Two eggs crack in there, bang, bang. So we're gonna make up a super good bodybuilding omelet. We're gonna do 200 mils of liquid egg whites. If you don't have this, this is gonna be about five actual egg whites. Now just to whisk that up, guys. Now I will mention that this meal plan is going to be 4,000 calories, so you can definitely adapt it to yourself. And every single meal that we cook today is gonna to take significantly shorter than 10 minutes to make, so it's absolutely ideal. Eggs are always up. Now what we're gonna do is grab some kale or some spinach, some sort of grain vegetable, and we're gonna chop it into there just to get a little bit more micronutrients to start the day. Now whilst this isn't absolutely necessary, like if you hate vegetables with an absolute passion, like you want them to all go die in a hole, that's fine. But it is definitely a good idea to get in some sort of micronutrients in terms of vegetables each and every day. So I'm just gonna fry that up for about one minute and then straight in with the eggs. I'm not gonna do anything, we're just gonna leave them to sit. Okay guys, part two of this meal is gonna be quite straightforward. So the initial thing that we're gonna do is get some berries, get some fruit in the bowl. So this is going to be a summer oat recipe. So because it is quite hot here, I'm not gonna be cooking my oats, I'm gonna be having them more as a cereal. So we're gonna go 200 grams of berries into the bowl. Now if you just have regular berries, no stress, but if you have frozen, we're gonna put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. While that is going off, we're gonna prepare the rest of the meal. That is gonna be the brownest banana you've probably ever seen in your life. Uh, I'm still gonna eat it because you know what, I don't like to waste food. The lesser of ingredients we have is going to be oats. This is ancient grains. It tastes really good if you have this available. The second thing is gonna be a little extra exo crunch. This is gonna add some taste. Okay guys, I am very happy with that. So what we have next up is gonna be the oats. So we're gonna put 100 grams of oats in there. Give it a quick mix. Up next is gonna be a bit of fruit and nut mixture. So this is gonna add a good amount of flavor, a good amount of texture, and then also some fats in there. Bang, out. We're gonna go 30 grams. So that's 30 grams on the dot. With a banana, with another stir. That's the mushiest banana I've seen in my life. From there guys, one scoop of whey protein, a little bit of cacao cereal. So very little amount. There's very, very little sugar in the amount we're gonna be putting in. So we're gonna do 20 grams and that's just gonna add a little bit more flavor to the mix. Last but not least guys, we're gonna go in with some oat milk. Now oat milk, in my personal opinion, tastes a little bit better than almond milk. It's got a little bit more of a creamier texture. That and cashew milk, they're my two favorites right now. So that's just 250 mils or one cup of of the sweet oat milk in there and bada boom bada bing. Italian herb, good old sprinkle on there and some pink salt. Bang, 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 bang. Nice a few cracks. This is gonna give us some good pumps for the gym and flip that chick. Bang. All that is left guys, plate up that bad boy omelet and you are good to go. It's thick, look at that. You've been bad girl. All right guys, that is the breakfast. It's absolutely delicious. Something else we're gonna put on here real quick. A little bit of sriracha. Now you can go with uh, some cheese on this if you so please, but I am pretty happy just with a little bit of sriracha. So that is the breakfast guys. It is absolutely delicious. The calories, macros and everything else right there. And I am very excited to dig into this. And before we jump into meal number two, I will ask if you are enjoying the video so far, so far, so far, drop a like on this video so I know and I'll be sure to make videos just like this one in the future. Also helps me out a little bit. So if you can do that for me, that'd be absolutely fantastic, guys. I don't think it's too much to ask. Let's jump in to meal number two. All right, guys, on to meal number two, and this is gonna be more of a little bit of a snack. So if you're at work, if you're at school, this is absolutely prime because the food's here, you can take to school, you can take to work with you, and they're gonna be completely fine to eat throughout the day. First thing we have is two Chobani Fits. Now, if you have these available, I would definitely recommend hitting them up. They are fantastic. I just did a workout, so this is gonna be my post-workout meal. But for you guys, if you just wanna have them at school, at work, wherever you are, they can be a good choice because per container, they have about 150 calories, no added sugar, so there's only four grams of sugar coming from the actual Greek yogurt. They're pretty damn phenomenal and they taste really damn good. Up next, we're gonna have just two rice cakes with 20 grams of peanut butter in between. So if you can make that up, put it in some glad wrap or some clean wrap, whatever you wanna call it. Take it to work, take it to school with you. It will be good to go. So it'd be absolutely rude not to do a taste test of these. So the way these work, essentially little containers and all you gotta do, open them up. And this one is mint chalk crunch. There's two parts, there's a little bit with some crunch, some extra kind of dry materials and there's the yogurt. 
it themselves, all you gotta do, bang, flip it over, mix it in, and taste test for this mint chalk crunch. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. It's really minty though, so if you don't like mint, you won't like this obviously. So I'll give that like a, like a six, because I'm not a big mint guy. Gotta rinse the palate, yeah? Now this one I am very keen on. It's a raspberry cocoa blast. Taste test. Okay, yeah. I'm a big fan of that. It's like a chocolate raspberry kind of biscuit type thing. And that is the meal two slash snack. So super easy guys, I'll catch you in meal number three. All right guys, meal number three is going down and that meal number three is gonna only include three ingredients. So this is gonna be a smoked salmon on toast or you could turn it into a sandwich if you are on the go. So it's gonna be very straightforward. What we have here first and foremost is a loaf of sourdough bread. This is my favorite bread of all time. It's got a little bit less gluten content in it, which is why I like it, but also it just tastes pretty damn phenomenal. So what we're gonna do guys is toast this up. So I'm gonna do three slices of this bread because it is quite small. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. Jeez Louise. Three slices, gonna toast this up because it just does go better toasted. You don't necessarily need to do that, but uh, if you do have a toaster available, would strongly recommend it. Up next we have an avocado because avocados make everything taste better. It just, you know, you put avocado on a cereal, it's gonna make it taste better. Probably not. But anyway, you get my gist. So we're gonna take about half an avocado or 50 grams, which is just relatively about half an avocado. And we are going to guacamole it essentially. So just gonna mush it up, put a bit of mix herb in there, bit of pink salt, and some lemon juice. And you are Gordon Ramsay essentially. Something smells like it's on fire. Jeez, is that my toast? Uh oh. Oh, and hello. Three pieces, done, nicely. Lightly toasted. Mm, that is some good avo. So even it out between three. Add a little bit of kale in there, just a little bit of roughage. And look at that, guys, it's served on a golden platter. I'm not even kidding. Even it out between three. So we've got 100 grams of smoked salmon, and this is going to be tip top. Presentation, again, 10 out of 10. Bit more mixed herb. Crack of pepper if you're a pepper guy, and you are good to go. And that is meal number three, guys. So super simple again, a uh, meal you can make in under five minutes, honestly, and it tastes phenomenal. So three meals down, guys, we have two more to go. So I'll catch you in meal number four, but before we do, it'd be very rude of me not to give this a taste test and a ranking out of 10. Mm. Chowdo bread with the salmon. Oh, you gotta try it. Alrighty guys, meal number four going down. So this one is gonna be quite simple, quite straightforward. It's gonna include sweet potato and a few other things. So the sweet potato, really easy to make up. Tastes incredible if you cook it the right way. It actually gets like really sweet, really caramelized in the oven. So that's how we're gonna cook it. All you gotta do, wash it off. Right, wash up any dirt and then dry it off completely because if you don't, it's gonna steam from the inside out and you don't want that. So once you have dried it off, you're gonna preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it in the oven for one total hour and you are good to go. Once that is all done, guys, I'll see you at part two for this meal. Woo! Oh, hot potato, hot potato. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Not smart. Oh, it's so crispy on the outside, guys. Have a go at that. So crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. That is that, guys. So that is the carbohydrate component of this meal. Now, one thing that we're gonna add to that is the chicken breast. So this is pre-cooked. Uh, it is from my bulk cooking recipe that is on YouTube. So if you wanna go check that out as well, it's really easy. You can make chicken up for yourself. It tastes amazing, very juicy, it doesn't get dry. Add in a wee little bit of roughage and then something else, secret ingredient. And that secret ingredient, guys, as crazy as it sounds, is gonna be Peanut butter. I know it sounds insane, but trust me, do not knock it till you try it. Fancy grams on there. This is kind of a sweet and creamy kind of setup, and I guarantee you guys, if you try it, you'll understand what I mean. If you cook the sweet potato in the right way, the same way that I showed you, and you have it with this peanut butter, your life will change. A bit of pink salt and a bit of herbs to finish. That is meal number four, guys. It is a very straightforward one, and it is probably the most time consuming, I will not lie. However, you can cook up the sweet potato in the microwave, and that will solve a lot of issues. So I don't even need to taste test this. I guarantee you guys, this is a 10 out of 10 body building meal. So try it out for yourself. And we have one more meal on the agenda. I'll catch you with that one. All right guys, final meal is going down. And this is one of my personal favorites. I know you're gonna absolutely love it. But um, firstly, does it grind your gears that the iPhone is a rectangle? Honestly, I'd much prefer it to be a square. Speaking of squares, guys, I wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to build a beautiful website in literally the easiest way possible. I found it especially useful in terms of scheduling appointments with my clients and keeping in touch with you guys through their very, very straightforward email campaign services. One thing that I thoroughly enjoyed is the abundance of templates that they have available. Not to mention the customization inbuilt within the system allows you to create a website that is not alike anyone else's. So if you're looking to expand your personal 
brand and just put yourself out there. Squarespace is a fantastic way to go about doing so. Head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you are ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Fraser Wilson and use the code Fraser Wilson to save yourself 10% off. Now back into the final meal, guys. It's gonna be a delicious pasta salad. Thank you, Fraser, I appreciate that. Now, pasta salad. This is absolutely delicious, guys. So what we're gonna be starting it off with is chickpea pasta. So this is pretty much made from chickpeas and potato starch. It is pretty damn good, guys. If you don't cope with gluten, go with this. But if you can handle gluten, by all means, go with the normal gluten kind. So to begin this recipe, guys, we're gonna have to boil a giant pot of water. We're gonna do about three liters and we're gonna put about one tablespoon of salt into there. Classic pea salt in there. Bang. So the plan of attack is 125 grams of this, which doesn't work out to be too much though. That's why when you're eating a ton of calories, pasta can be a very good option. Just when you're cutting, it's probably one of the worst because it's super dense in calories. Oh my God, like look at that. It's not even half a bowl, it's already 125. So I just go right in and we're gonna put that in there for seven minutes. So while that is boiling, gonna prepare the rest of the salad. So two things that we're gonna do is kale, 100 grams of this, and then 100 grams of pre-made beet salor kit. So this is beetroot, kale, and some red cabbage. And it goes pretty well. So a giant bowl of truth for this. Literally, look at that, big as my head. Best way to save time, grab some scissors. Bada bing, bada boom. 100 grams of this. Okay, that is all done, guys. So, rinse, 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 rinse. So because this is a salad, guys, cold water on and rinse it off. You can either do that or you can just wait for them to actually cool if you're gonna have the salad later on. But if you're gonna have it right now like me, then dry them off. Almost done here, so in with the pasta and what we're gonna do is just mix that around. Jeez, guys, there is literally nothing better than pasta. Like, pasta just goes well with just about anything. So this is cooled off. Make sure it's cooled off, all right? You don't want a warm salad. That's definitely not what you wanna do. Protein for today, for this meal, is going to be tuna in oils. If you get a right tuna, you get one lower in mercury that's sustainably caught and then it has some good fats in there, then you are good to go. Trust me, the way to make salad taste good is to put a big bad can of tuna in there or put some olive oil in there. Whatever you do, add some protein to a salad and it will make it so much better. So you got the tuna in there, mix it around and you are good to go. And that is the final meal, guys. So this is absolutely delicious. Now, as I mentioned before, if you aren't having it right now and you wanted to store it in the fridge, like let's say you wanted to make it when you did have time, for the time that you don't have time, if that makes sense, then that's a good option to go with because it's a salad, it always lasts. It's good. You don't need a microwave to have a salad when you want it. You know what I mean? It's a good situation to be in. So that is the final meal, guys. The macros of this one are here and the totals for the day are right there. If you have any questions, drop them below and like this video if you did enjoy it. So I know and I'll make ones just like it. I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you in the next one.